JJ, that's me, to you, whoever, you and where, whoever and wherever you are. I see a few names skidding through there. Kieran, hello again. Eva Lienknecht, Kieran McCarthy. Louis, Louis Art from Brighton and Valentina Bernardi from Glastonbury. Although I suspect not originally, I think you're Portuguese. And Diane Oliveira. Lovely. Beautiful. A welcome to all and whatever you're bringing, wherever you're at in yourself and with the world, it's welcome. And with that in mind, here's a song to that, honouring that. <clears throat> Simple song from the Iona community, from Iona, links me back to that beautiful island. <coughs> take, oh take me as I am. Summon up what I may be. Set your seal upon my heart and live in me. So, wherever you're at, you're welcome. <laughs> take, oh, take me as I am. Summon out what I shall be. Set your seal upon my heart and live in. if you were able to join in there's no one to hear you except yourself and anyone you're in that room with take oh take me as I am summon out what I shall be set your seal upon my heart and live in me all together take oh, take 
me as I am. Summon out what I shall be. Set your seal upon my heart and live in me. So welcome. I invited you during that song to join in because no one could hear. Well, of course, it's not strictly true for me. I think uh, the cosmos hears our song and the earth hears our song and resonates in accord. <laughs> well, we're resonating. We are resonating in accord with the earth as we sing and the song resonates with the earth and with the cosmos something about the beauty of song. We're alone, maybe, but never alone. Not when we sing to the earth. So here's some lines from Hafiz. As many of you will know, he's pretty much my favourite poet. Let tenderness pour from your eyes the way the sun gazes warmly on the earth. Let, let tenderness pour from your eyes the way the sun gazes warmly upon the earth. Okay, here's a song to welcome everyone in. Actually, before we do that, let's just, um, we'll share three breaths. Just three breaths together to link us in with the wider world and with linking ourselves in through three breaths. Deep breath, first one for the earth beneath us. Second one for the sky, the beautiful sky above us. And the third one for the beautiful waters that surround the lands upon which we live. Becoming present, calming the body, centering the breath, honouring the heart. Come friends, come loved ones, come strangers, come all. Come friends, come loved ones, come strangers, ah, oh, come all. Sing with me, the earth is full of music. The air is full of music. Dance with me, the earth is full of life. Flow with me, the water's full of feeling. Shine with me, the fire is burning bright. Come friends, come loved ones, come strangers, 
come all. Come friends, come loved ones, come strangers, come all. Sing with me, the air is full of music. Dance with me, the earth is full of life. Flow with me, the water's full of feeling. Shine with me, the fire is burning bright. Come friends, come loved ones, come strangers, come all. Come friends, come loved ones, come strangers, come all. Sing with me, the air is full of music. Dance with me, the earth is full of life. What's the third one? Flow with me, the water's full of feeling. Shine with me, the fire is burning bright. Come friends, come loved ones, come strangers, come all. Come friends, come loved ones, come strangers, come all. full of music. Dance with me, the earth is full of life. Flow with me, the water's full of feeling. Shine with me, the fire is burning bright. Come friends, come loved ones, come strangers, come all. Come friends, come loved ones, strangers come all once more all together last time sing with me the air is full of music dance with me the earth is full of life flow with me the water's full of feeling shine with me the fire is burning bright come friends come loved Come strangers, come all. Come friends, come loved ones, come strangers, come all. So there are no strangers here. <laughs> Once we were all strangers to each other, we met on life's path. Some of you are regulars, some of you may be new. There's always a few new and a few old regulars. Friends, loved ones, strangers, come all. So just noting, I'm just acknowledging and honouring the fact we're coming together this weekly point of refuge, of sanctuary, a place of honouring the earth and in some way honouring ourselves as well. But primarily the focus is to honour the earth. And within that the sky, the sun, the oceans, the mountains. And it's part of this wider vision I have of sovereign earth for, for humanity to regard nature as being sacred again for humanity to come to regard nature as being sacred once more and then then everything will fall into place <laughs> from that premise from that root chakra that sacred place anything's possible so before we link in and light our candles in traditional fashion we'll have one more song Let's see what I'm maybe thought of. Um, bum, bum. Yeah, we'll have, I thought this one to honour the ancestors. There's something about this deep part of this depth time of the year, this dark. Um, there's something about honouring those who've, the ancestors and those who've gone before. 
When I stand in circle each week with um, teenage lads up in the woods, there's a group of us older men and uh, several older men and then a whole group of younger teenage boys and maturing into men and we're journeying together and we honour the ancestors. So this, this week, how many there were? Ten young men and four, four older men. And we stand around in a big circle outside around a fire and just connecting with all those who've gone before, who've passed on mostly. And it, it's a long line behind each of us. If, we're, if you're in circle, each of us now in this circle, and behind us all is this vast stream, countless numbers of ancestors, to whom each of us owe a great debt of gratitude for what they gave for us to come into being. So we'll sing this song for the ancients. For the ancestors. I think a drum will be fitting somewhere in this song. It's the blood of the ancients running through our veins. Times change, yet the circle of life remains. It's the blood of the ancients running through our veins times change yet the circle of life remains i always think it's more powerful if i know i can imagine you're all singing it's the blood of the ancients running through our veins times change yet the circle of life remains it's the blood of the ancients running through our veins. Times change, yet the circle of life remains. It's the blood of the ancients running through our veins. Times change, yet the circle of life remains. It's the blood of the ancients running through our veins times change yet the circle of life remains it's the blood of the ancients running through our veins times change yet the circle of life remains it's the blood of the ancients running through our veins times change yet the circle of life remains it's the blood of the ancients running through our veins times change yet the circle of life remains it's the blood of the ancients running through our veins. Times change, yet the circle of life remains. Let's link in, just uh, imagining our hands, vast arms spanning space across continents and across, across counties, across seas, joining up and we just uh, link in 
um, bringing our awareness into our bodies. Just one, this simple breath. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Dwelling in this present moment, I know it to be a beautiful moment. And linking in like this for me is, and I hope you feel similarly too. So we here, we're here. We, so honouring great spirit, whatever and however you envisage or experience that. Beyond gender, beyond time, great spirit, divine, deity, we call on the powers of this earth to be with us, the time of the power of place, wherever I am in this moment, the power of this time of year, this sacred, deep, beautiful, special time. So may we be blessed, may we, may we be protected, may we be guided, may we be inspired as we journey together, singing our hearts out, singing our souls out, and singing whatever words spell out our intentions and our love of life, the universe and each other. So let's light three candles. I'm just going to have a sip of water. So any of you familiar with this earth service uh, will know that traditionally and we light three candles at this point. First one I will light for myself. I'll say my name and I will put in a quality of the moment, which I know not at this moment. I will then invite you to put your name and a quality in. And the third candle will be for a third party, a third person or third peoples, if you want. Who else wants to come in? Who, who would you like to bring in? Um, and what gift might they offer into this circle, if you could imagine it for them? So it's a chance to not only bring ourselves together here, but loved ones, those in need of healing or connection or warmth. Okay. I'm JJ. And are bringing community. Your turn, your name, and equality. Speak it out. And a third party, a third person or people, their name. And a quality. And we'll seal that with three Arwens. It would be lovely to actually for those who are able and willing to put your name and put your quality in there, your name and your quality, so that we can see those and experience them in, a, in, in some form. It brings it real, makes it, brings it into the world. It's, it's a wonderful process goes on in my experience by doing this. So here we are weaving our magic spell for the night with all these beautiful unique quality unique mix of qualities so a deep breath and we'll share three our winds flowing spirit sacred breath Amen.
deep peace of the Mother Earth. There's a couple of quotes that are worth reading. They may not be particularly new, but they're expressed in a in a loving way. This one, this first one's from Saint Saint Bernard de Clairvaux. <laughs> I guess he was French. Saint Bernard de Clairvaux, maybe he's better. He says, "Believe one who knows." You will find something greater in woods than in books. Trees and stones will teach you that which can never be learned from masters. <laughs> Believe me, you will find something greater in woods than in books. Trees and stones will teach you that which you can never learn from masters. Simple truths. The perennial, eternal presence of nature, always available, often neglected. Let's see, just before we go into meditation, Actually, because of that chart, because of that reading, um, this this song is a very simple one. John and Lynn, you're usually there. Um, John and Lynn knew the, knew the person who wrote this chant, and it came via them to a friend of mine in the valley here, Nathan, and then it came to me. It's very simple. I am the land. That is all that I am. I am the land. That is all around me. I'll sing it. Please join in, be lovely. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all around me. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all around me. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all around me. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all that I am. around me I am 
that is all that I am. I am the land that is all around me. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all that I am. I am the land that is all around me. I am the land that is all that I am. So we're into the deepest, darkest part of the year, approaching the solstice, only a few days away, very near, Monday, <laughs> Monday morning, with that great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn happening now, but at its peak, uh, Monday afternoon, Monday evening. Significant time of the year anyway, but all the more so, I guess, with what's happened this year, but also because of what's happening in the heavens and in the stars, in the cosmos now. So this great dive into the depths of winter, which for our ancients, for the ancestors, must have been quite some journey if food was short or warmth was in short supply. So we really treasure the opportunities of this moment presented by the solstice of connecting with stillness and silence and peace. And paradoxically, most of the nations running around frantically <laughs> around the solstice <laughs> in the run up to Christmas. But it's actually a really magical point in the year to get in touch with stillness so we'll have one more song and what I'm going to do this week a bit different is we'll go into a few minutes silence but it will be in darkness I'll blow out the candles after the song and we'll go into darkness just for a few minutes into that that place of womb like pre-birth and uh, the, um, the invitation will be to contemplate or to meditate upon, yeah, the beauty of this time in relationship to the land, to the sun, to ourselves. Silence, stillness, solstice. Let's see if I can remember this chant because I only sing it at the solstices, <laughs> only at the winter solstice. Okay, I'll try it. The words are simple. It's sun stands still. I am still. Earth is still. I feel peace. And then I'll blow the candles out and we'll meditate in darkness for a few, just for a few minutes. <clears throat> Sun stands still, I am still, earth is still, I feel peace. Please join me if you can and if you wish. Sun stands still, I am still. Earth is still, I feel peace. Sun is still, 
I am still, earth is still, I feel peace. Sun is still, I am still, earth is still, I feel peace. Sun is still, I am still, earth is still, I feel peace. Sun is still, I am still, earth is still, I feel peace. Sun is still, I am still, earth is still, I feel peace. Sun is still, I am still, earth is still, I feel peace. Sun is still, I am still, earth is still, I feel peace. Sun is still, earth is, I am still, earth is still. I feel peace, sun is still, I am still, earth is still, I feel peace.
it out of the darkness of the darkest night. And it's not completely dark because you can see the fire <laughs> is burning behind me. And you can hear the wind in the chimney because it's a stormy night. But here we are on the cusp of the rebirth of the sun. And I've placed a new candle in the middle. <laughs> if I can light it. Let's see. So, a new candle for a newborn sun at the solstice. And I'll light our candles from that again. Something magical and beautiful about the depth and the darkness and the stillness. <clears throat> so we'll honour that. We'll honour this stillness with um, well, actually, <laughs> with a song that I hadn't thought of before this moment but which fits perfectly in the moment. And some of you will have heard it before, but it fits. I hear the silence calling me, so softly calling me, to where I have always been. I hear the silence calling me, so softly calling me to where I have always been. I surrender to the mystery. I awaken to the beauty. I am burning and burning in your grace. I am burning and burning in your grace. I am burning and burning, I am burning and burning, I am burning and burning in your grace. Together, I hear the silence calling me so softly calling me to where I have always been. I hear the silence calling me, so softly calling me to where I have always been. I surrender to the mystery I awaken to the beauty. I am burning and burning in your grace. I am burning and burning in your grace. I am burning and burning. I am burning and burning. I am burning and burning in your grace. Last time together, I hear the silence calling me, so softly calling me to where I have always been. I hear the silence calling me, so softly calling me to where I have always been. I surrender to the mystery. I awaken to the beauty. I am burning and burning in your grace. I am burning and burning in your grace. 
I am burning and burning, I am burning and burning, I am burning and burning in your grace. And a few last seconds for any prayers for the earth, any prayers for this time. And taking hands again together, let's offer out our prayers, our love, our song, our heart. Offer it out to the world with three Arwens. Deep breath. First Arwen for ourselves. Ah. Second hour went for our friends, our relatives, our relations, and all people. Deep breath. Amen. And the third breath. For all beings, for the good of all beings. Let's offer this out into the world. Deep breath. Amen. So thank you for sharing this uh, spacious stillness. It feels a, a real privilege to share this in this way. And a beautiful way to celebrate the earth and life and this solstice time. So for those of you, before I blow the candles out and we go back into darkness and uh, I'll bid you farewell, um, on Saturday night, that's tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, I believe, on the Order of Bards, Ovates and Druids Facebook page and on YouTube, there's a mistletoe ceremony offered by some of the Order and I'll be playing my part in that with the mistletoe uh, for those who care to join us. On next Friday is Christmas Day. And it's normally when I would do earth service and I'm inclined to go for it and offer it anyway, particularly for those people perhaps who might not find that time as easy as others. So as it stands, <laughs> eight o'clock next Friday, as with this, maybe slightly shorter, but there will be a, an earth service. But watch the space just in case. <laughs> and then last Tuesday was Sovereign Earth and it was the sun. That was the topic and there isn't an earth service next Tuesday coming. But the one after, I think it's the 29th of December, my dad's birthday, it would have been. Um, there will be Sovereign Earth. Uh, it will be about sacred sexuality. And then there'll be another earth service on New Year's Day. So yes, there's, there's a good bit there. Lots of love and blessings to all of you. I hope you have a beautiful solstice, whatever your 
wherever your still point finds you. Love and blessings. I'll blow the candles out and we can do it together. And this radiant beauty of our space here that we share can, re can emanate and percolate out into the world. Love and blessings and bye. After three. One, two, three. <laughs> Good night.